You know what? Maybe we'll just go ahead and do this. Let's see how that has us. Character. I'm irradiated, but probably not as much as I was. So. Okay. Didn't take long for me to be that irradiated. Huh? Your bones are scraped clean by the desolate wind. Your vault will now surely die. Crap. Oh no. Okay, um, yeah, twenty five percent. Now I'm addicted to rat awake. I guess I fucked up. Um, I guess what I'm going to have to do is... I'm going to try it one more time. I'm sure I'm going to die. But what I need to do... Okay. Now let's try taking rat away. Okay. I'm still irradiated. There's not much I can do about that right now. If this does not work, I will have to go back and start where we started last week. Going back to the Brotherhood of Steel. Um, trying to trade for some rad X instead of rad away. Your life ends in the wasteland. Okay. Well, it's either that or we can start from the vault again. And we can start going ahead and you know what, since, uh, since I'm not getting out of there without dying of radiation, I'm just going to pop out of the game. We can just chit chat a little bit, I guess. Um, and, uh, yesterday or last week, sorry, we had been here at the glow, but unfortunately we had a problem. We went into the glow and then we died as soon as we tried to leave it. Um, so what we are going to do is actually come back here. We're going to go back to the Brotherhood again. And then we're going to see if maybe they have some rad X they'll give us before we go down to the glow. And if not, we'll maybe see if we can trade for some for, real quick. And then we'll go back to the glow again because we have to get that disc. Um, now, whether we can get a water chip out of the glow or not, I don't remember. But one thing we do definitely need is if we're going to get a water chip from those super mutants, we are 100% going to need one for sure to leave Ian behind. I cannot control dog meat. There is no control I have over dog meat. So, um, unfortunately if dog meat gets killed, dog meat get, gets killed. I don't want to get killed, get him killed, but if it happens, it happens. Um, but if we're going to take on those super mutants over in Acropolis, if we're only going to have the choice, one simple choice to get power armor and anybody who's played modern fallouts, Bethesda's fallouts specifically, you might not exactly how, uh, it, 
you might not exactly understand. Sorry, my words were getting ahead of me. You might not understand how powerful the power armor is in one and two. Um, it is everything in one and two, really. <laughs> I had a friend who had, and this was going to the Brotherhood. I had a friend who had played Fallout. I want to say three first, and then played Fallout One, and told me that he had had no idea what I was talking about when I was talking about the um, really, really, really nasty death claws until he played one and he's really disappointed at what they did because they're nowhere near as bad. Nowhere near. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to want to do that because that's what I have. Now I'm going to go ahead and leave the first aid kit because it's harder to use the first aid kit during combat. Is that all I have in there right now? Oh, I guess so. Hmm. Okay. Actually, you know what? I, I don't really feel like the first aid kit is going to be very useful for me. So let's see. Okay. I was hoping he had something more useful than that, but. Oh, wait. Wait a second. I already have the glow on here, which means I already have the mission from the Brotherhood, which is fine. It just means that we need to actually take this a different tact. We just need to try to get some, uh, where I don't know if we're going to want to go to the brotherhood from here. Um, That's all right. We'll figure it out. Don't worry. Oh, it is so itchy right now. Looks like they're dead. And again, mole rats here don't have anything. <laughs> Funny thing is, is what we see in like 76, so much smaller than the lesser mole rats on one and two. I'm going to go up to Shady Sands first. I'm going to see if Shady Sands has anything. Um, whether Shady Sands has any rad away, I'm sorry, rad X or not, I don't know. Oh. Hmm. 
And this is actually the real reason why Radex exists in this game, is Radex is actually supposed to be the thing that gives you the radiation resistance. Now, I don't know, maybe I'm using it wrong, but it hasn't seemed to work in any of the Bethesda fallouts that I've played so far. Oh, yeah, no, never mind. Sorry, they're walking around. What am I? <laughs> Ian wasn't moving yet, so I didn't realize that. Oh, uh... Uh, yeah. It's okay, guys. Sometimes I dumb. <laughs> I dumb well. <laughs> okay, so we need a thousand there. That, that, or the other stuff. Actually, here's what I'm going to do. I know it seems weird that I'm doing this, but I'm actually doing this for a good reason. doing here is put this up towards the top too. Um, I'm actually reordering where all of my stuff is in my inventory because of the fact that um, when I trade and such, having that bag on the top means that I can actually just go ahead and pull the stuff right out there. instead of going all the way down to the bottom to be able to get it. All right, just outside of Shady Sands. Did you guys know that there was some uh, uh, mantises right out there? He still just has the crap I gave him from before. <sighs> you know what? I'm gonna. I was thinking maybe do the red scorpions just for.